Yeah, hi, and uh, welcome to my latest video. Um, this one's just a quick guide, basically, on uh, yeah, how I do my Kynar wire modifications. Um, there was a few pictures before this, and uh, I'll put a few more after it, but they're just ones I've just literally made up the mods on them just for this video. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and hopefully along the way you get a few tips. There's probably three or four main things. There's like, with the, um, the glue and the activator, that sort of use the activator before the glue. It's all mentioned in the video. Um, literally, yeah, don't try and do too short of bends um, before your solder has to sort of sleeve and go through the inner. And just, yeah, short wires pre cut to length before you do it, and long wires uh, do them as you go. They're the sort of main tips, and uh, say Kynar comes in a few different colours. So, yeah, I hope you find a few sort of tips and hints along the way, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please subscribe at the end, and I'll put a few more videos up. Alright, thank you, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, alright, so this is just a quick um, video on how I produce my sort of kind arm mods. And uh, all I'm going to do is literally three wires and this connector. I've already prepared the wires just for you know, ease of the video, otherwise it's going a bit too long. I'm just going to take them from this connector over to an IC and I'll show you how to glue them down after. So, um, yeah, all I do now, first of all, I just sort of put the first wire on pin one. A little bit of solder. They've got a nice joint on there. Once you get the first wire in place, you've got a bit of a template for the second wire. So I'll bring the second wire over. Like I say, I've already prepared the wires. Just, to, just for the ease of the video, really. I literally just pop that one in place. Just push the wire down. It's nice to get the sort of inner braid the core a little bit lower. So I can now solder that one on. So a little bit of flux. So I'll preload your iron with a little bit of solder. And uh, yeah, and then you shouldn't get short if you've got the right amount on. So just carefully put it on the top and stroke that one across. So you've got a nice joint there as well. And I've sort of already bent these two wires. But with this one, I'm going to just show you a little tip. The one thing I don't do, if you're doing a short bend, you can't pre sort of bend the wire. You have to solder it first and then bend it. Otherwise, the uh, the sleeve will go straight through the inner core. So I'll just sort of solder this on, then I'll bend it after. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just the best way to do it. It's basically just solder that one on there. Just do it neater. So you've got that one in there, got no shorts, got three nice joints. So with this one, if you want to get a close bend, so just there, best way to do it, just get your tweezers, just angle it around, and sort of pinch it into place. But if you yeah, if you try to do that, if you if you sort of started like that and then soldered that sleeve in with just sort of shred, so that's the way to do it if you want to tie it sort of bend. So what I do, I just bring it over to the other end and sort of tack them into place on the IC, and then uh, yeah, you'll get a guide of what, what's what, and then I just do a bit of gluing over the top just to get you give you an example of uh, how I do my gluing. So I'll just get it into place. So I just tack this onto pin one. So it's only a dummy board, so it's not really a guide to what pins are going to. I'm just taking them to anything for the sake of the video, really. But yeah, all the all the pictures you saw before this video were ones I've just knocked up for this video, really. Just so you get a guide of how you can get wiring. You can really get it neat. And uh, yeah, I like to get it neat. And there's a bit of a trick with the gluing, which I'll show you in a minute. So literally, I just solder these onto any pins, really. Pin eight, I do for this one. So yeah, always a little bit of sort of flux, a little bit of solder on your iron, and then um, you should get a decent joint. Just get a little bit more iron. So I'll just take it onto that one. This one, that one. They've got a nice little amount on there. So I'll just take like, one more round to the next one. The sort of secret is if you keep one wire sort of central you're always there but if you sort of say this wire went right over this side you're going to struggle but if you can keep them all in the middle it should be all right so just finally sort of tack this wire into place a little bit of flux just get that little bit of inner core a little bit lower i like it sort of on the pad there you go so i just sold this one up now so if i'm doing short wires I always sort of prepare them to length beforehand but if you're doing long wires Sort of solve them as you go. So that's all the joints done. 
you've got three nice joints there, you've got three nice joints the other end with no shorts. So yeah, like normally I'd clean these all up, get it all really nice and clean, and then I'd do the gluing. But for this one, all I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do my gluing. So I'll get the wires into place. So what you want to do is sort of straighten the wires out so it'll come out nice and straight and nice and flat to the board. Now with the with the glue, which is basically it's called tack pack, it's made by Loctite. And I think what they say is um, you should put the glue on first and spray it. But the one thing I do, I always sort of spray it first and then put the glue on after. I'll just give that a little spray. I always blow it dry. The best thing to do is put the spray on, wait till it evaporates, and then I get a bit of solder and just put a little bit of glue on the solder. Just go over one wire at a time, holding the wire down. You can sort of see what I'm doing now. I'll just do it sort of anywhere for this video, but yeah, all we do is we'll go over the top, both sides, just hold it into place, it takes about 20 seconds and it'll start getting sort of tacky. And if you need to add a bit more over the top, you can sort of, yeah, just do that after. I'm literally just going to do sort of one bit of gluing for this because you can see see the basics. It's no, you know, the video is going to go on a bit too long if I do it all properly. Eventually that should set. If it, if you find it don't set or it's taking a bit too long, just put a little bit more actuator on it. That's nearly gone now. I can see it going. Yeah, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more actuator. It won't spray this everywhere because it's sort of gone semi hard and out. So, but normally the first spray is enough. Well, I think that's got it now. What I do now is just to tidy that one up. I go over the top of that. Let's just go over the top and add a little bit of glue in. So that's all you do, and you've got a nice joint right over the top. You can see in the photos I took before. The gluing is pretty neat, but um, that's how to do it. So spray first, glue second. So there you go, that's how to do the gluing. And what I do, I'll finish this one off properly with the gluing. Um, and I'll put a sticker picture up after the, sort of this short video, so you can get a rough guide on how this would have ended up. So if you can always do your gluing like that, spray first, glue second, you get it really neat. And like I say, you've got three nice joints there, no shorts. And then down the other end, you've got sort of three nice joints there with no shorts. I'll clean all them up, like I say, I'll put a video up, a photo up at the end of all the all the work. And uh, yeah, there'll be a few more pictures after this video. And a few tips, I'll give you a few more tips in a little chat at the start. Um, you know, I hope you followed them all right, sort of chat before this video. And yeah, you should be all right. And it just takes a bit of practice. And you, like I say, you look at some of them photos, you can make some really nice mods and I've literally done mods for two wires or 200 and I always try and, best thing to do is always try and work your route out before you start. So I've normally got about five routes in my head of the wires where they're going and uh, yeah, always sort of pick one and try, I don't try and cross wires over, I try and go round them. So you know, you can't, you will get there, it just takes a bit of planning. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and like I say, I put a few more sort of pictures up after and uh, there would be one, one of these, I'll sort of show you this one, this one I did for one of the pictures basically. You can see the gluing going over the top there. So you've got a nice bit sort of fillet going over there. And you've got sort of another nice fillet going over there. You can see you've got five nice joints, no shorts. So yeah, it can be done, that's quite a fine picture I see. Not too fine, but... And like I said earlier, if you try with that wire there, if you sort of... So, well, if you try to bend it, like that if you so if you got in position and you soldered that sleeve in the inner would just sort of rip through the sleeve in so always sort of keep it longer and then solder so that's that's my sort of sort of one of my main tips really so yeah, i hope you get on all right i hope you found the video useful and uh, yeah i hope you get on well so thanks a lot and so like i say if you can sort of subscribe i'll put a few more sort of videos up in the coming weeks well, thank you